Hey guys, today's video is all about the Brazilian pop star Anita. The reason why I'm making this video today is because last week she was in my country. She was performing at the Royal Albert Hall. And before she did her performance, she went on a TV show called Good Morning Britain, which is, is a really popular show in the UK. And I was really interested to see how she did during the interview because she was only speaking English. So Anita, she, she's somebody who fascinates me. She is somebody who sings in English, she sings in Spanish, of course, she's Brazilian, she sings in Portuguese. She's not a linguist, but I know that she studies a lot and I was very curious to see what level her English is at. And so when I was watching this, I noticed three things that I thought would be quite interesting to talk about. The first thing is from her introduction. Welcome to the UK. This is yes. your first ever visit, isn't it? Yeah, my first time. I was longing to see the city, but it just worked until now. Until now is used differently in Portuguese and in English. Let me give you an example. I had never made a video and used a Brazilian football shirt until now. Right now there has been a change. So in the past, nothing had happened until this moment when I'm wearing a football shirt. Let me know if you like it in the comment section below. Um, I think a, an England shirt looks better on me, but yeah, I quite like it. I had never spoken about English and Anita in a video until now. Right now something has changed. So what she should say instead of until now, so far. So we use so far when we expect something to change in the future. So Anita, she hasn't seen much of London so far. Next. She's talking about Havaianas. Like, I, it's, it's, it's fascinating. I've known Anita for a really, really long time as being like a huge pop star. These presenters, they obviously don't know much about her, so they're going to talk a lot about stereotyped Havaianas. They talk to her about football. They're talking about Havaianas, and she says that she wears them every time. I use this every time, or I just don't use anything. So I hear this a lot in my classes. We use every time when we're being very specific about events. For example, every time I give an English class, I speak English. Every time I see my Brazilian friends, I speak Portuguese. Every time refers to a specific event. For example, every time I go to Starbucks, I have a coffee, but I'm always thinking about coffee. So you can see the difference there between the two ways of using every time and always. Next. In Brazil, if you're not born rich, uh, you have no opportunity to, to learn language or art. Or so you grew up else. in the favelas, didn't you? And that's yeah. how you started, singing from favela to favela. The presenter, he asked her about favelas. Now, I think that this is really interesting because we do have the word slum in English, but favela is a Portuguese word that we kind of incorporate into English. And it's a word that is quite common. So you can go to another country and talk about favelas and people will probably understand you. And I just think that that was such a beautiful thing for Anita to say, just to talk a little bit about the opportunity of learning English. Yeah, Anita's speaking really well. She needs to buy a copy of my book, The Top 85 Mistakes Brazilians Make in English, because Anita, querida, these mistakes you're making are mistakes that are in my book. It will really help you. It will help all of you guys if you're studying English. So have a look at the just underneath this video, I'm going to leave a link. You can buy that book on Amazon. Until next week, what I would like you to do right now is give the video a like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, why the hell not? Subscribe to my channel right now and I will speak to you guys next week.